Good morning, my junior environmental scientists, and happy Earth Day! Today is a really special day because not only is it Earth Day, it is the 50th anniversary of the very, very first Earth Day. And since we also happen to be having, for the very first time with Stone Ridge, sixth graders taking environmental science, I feel especially blessed that we are all together on this day. And so in today's lesson, which is going to follow a slightly different pattern than what you've become accustomed to with our virtual learning lessons, I am going to first in a moment introduce you to what I think is probably the most beautiful, in my opinion, photograph ever taken by any human being. And I'll give you a little bit of history about that and why I think that photograph is so special. And then we have our prayer, which comes to us as a special Earth Day prayer from the Sisters of Mercy. And I've added a slideshow to go with the prayer. After that, you're going to return to Google Classroom, where you will follow steps two, three, and four. These steps are going to have you watching videos, they're going to have you reading some things, and they're going to have you reflecting back on what you've been experiencing in Google Forms. So without further ado, let me introduce you to what I think is the most beautiful photograph anyone's ever taken. This is it. This photograph has been named Earthrise. It was not taken, um, it wasn't pre-planned, okay? This was taken by astronaut Bill Anders on December 24th, 1968, aboard Apollo 8. Apollo 8 was the first mission that traveled to the moon with people on board. Uh, it was not going to land on the moon. Its purpose was to circle the moon and to take photographs, reconnaissance photographs of the lunar surface to plan for future missions. But on one pass, astronaut Bill Anders, when he was looking out the window, saw this. And he was um, so enamored by what he saw that he had to photograph it. And I want you to notice what this view is of. This is our home. This is the only home any human being in all the history of human beings has ever known. And it's being viewed from a distance of a quarter of a million miles away. Again, the farthest any human being has ever been to turn around and look back at this big, beautiful marble. And any person who has ever seen our planet Earth from a distance has left feeling a little bit different about our Earth and about our place in the universe. When seen from such a distance, notice that you don't see any political boundaries. You don't see any of the things that seem to divide us human beings here on Earth. Uh, there's no sign of any differences between us. It's just the one home for all of us. And so that is one, in my opinion, is the most beautiful picture ever taken. I hope you like it. I hope you'll think about it and think about what it means to view the earth without any boundaries of any type separating all of us. So now for our prayer from the Sisters of Mercy with my added slideshow. I hope you enjoy it. As we are called to see ourselves and each other as earthen vessels that hold God's presence and bring God's gifts to the world, so too this very world and all that is above, around, and within it are earthen vessels, just as easily shattered just as much in need of our loving attentiveness and support. 
May our hands align with God's in caressing and shaping these vessels. The response for our intentions will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For trees, plants, crops, and forests, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For water, oceans, rivers, streams, and ponds, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For air, wind, climate, and weather, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For sun, clean energy, and prevention of global warming, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For animals, especially threatened and endangered species, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For recycling and moderate personal consumption, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For proper use of chemicals and disposal of toxic waste, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all humankind, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For Earth, the only home we've ever known, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Creator God, we thank you for all creation. We ask your forgiveness where we have failed to be just stewards. And now we ask for your guidance in restoring the face of the Earth. May we learn to live in harmony, safety, and just sharing of resources among all, so that we may achieve the kingdom of God. Peace be to this community. Peace be to this land. Peace be to all people. Amen.